First of all, if the dam were to break, a lot of people would die very quickly within hours. Then, the resulting flood would devastate China. It would also have a significant impact on the rest of the world's already weakened supply chains. The Three Zorge Dam generates 2% of China's electricity, and that's remarkable, but it's not why we've been watching the dam. China has experienced a lot of rain lately. And even though it's very hard to know what's actually happening with the dam and what the risks are, folks have been worried about what all that rain could do. So this is a risk that's worth keeping an eye on and taking a few extra precautions for. Here are the highlights. Food prices and food security are already a problem as a result of the flooding in China. We'll likely feel those ripple effects here. The actual collapse of the dam would devastate a critical part of many global supply chains, resulting in massive shortages of many categories of goods. There would also be a lot of financial market turmoil to navigate in the event of collapse. It's very hard to gauge the current state of the dam, since information about it is tightly controlled. You should already be structuring your prepping in such a way that it takes into account ongoing supply chain disruptions and potential food price increases. But if you aren't, then this issue adds extra urgency. Impact on supply chains and the world's economy. We don't ring the alarm when just any river floods, or looks like it'll flood. But the Three George Dam isn't situated in just any river. Some economists estimate that if the Yangtze River Basin were its own country, it'd have the third largest economy in the world. So if the dam breaks and the basin floods, the whole world would feel the impact. China is responsible for manufacturing almost a third of the world's products. More than half of that output happens in the Yangtze River Economic Basin, which would be flooded within a day if the Three Zorge Dam burst. So if the Three Zorge Dam breaks, somewhere around 15% of the world's manufacturing would stop. In short, the river basin is key to the world's economy. It's central to manufacturing for companies like Apple, Walmart, and that companies that have already seen supply chain issues due to COVID-19. Wuhan, originally the center of the coronavirus outbreak, is also located in the Yangtze Basin. How likely is the dam's collapse, really? For the past two months, the Yangtze River Basin has seen some significant rain. In fact, the area has had more rainfall this summer than it has in almost 60 years. The river has already started to overflow. And it's not that the people who live in the basin are sitting at home, worrying about what might happen. Already this summer, CNN says 54.8 million people have been impacted by flooding. Nearly 4 million people have lost housing, and 158 people have gone missing or died in the flooding. Last week, Typhoon Hagapit made landfall in eastern China. This typhoon was the fourth to hit China in 2020, and meteorologists expect two or three more. It's hard to know exactly how likely a dam collapse is. It's very hard to get good intel on the current state of the dam, because it's such a big deal to China. Information is very tightly controlled, and that means rumors fly around online all the time. People speculate about collapse whenever there's a bad flood season, in part because the dam is expected to hold back so much water. In July, this video circulated on social media showing just what a failure of the Three Zorge Dam would look like, and how far-reaching its effects would be.